York Regional Police have teed up to send messages of hope to Canadian troops fighting in Afghanistan. They have joined the Hero to Hero program, which sends T-shirts and messages of thanks to our troops. But as First Local's Roshni Murthy tells us, they have one obstacle to face before the troops get the tees in their hands. So this is our flag for our branch. First Vice President of the Stouffville Royal Canadian Legion, Judy Bond, has had her experiences with war veterans. She says she knows the importance of sending troops in Afghanistan messages of hope and thanks. It uh, makes them uh, understand that people are concerned and do care for them and for what they're doing for our country and, and the other countries uh, across the world. Um, and it, I think it, it means a lot to them. That's also why York Regional Police Chief Armand Labarge says he's happy to be part of the Hero to Hero program, an initiative where emergency first responders send troops fighting overseas t-shirts and memorabilia from back home. Soldiers sign up to receive a shirt from an officer who then sends it to them through the Canadian leg of the program. So far, York Regional Police have made 400 shirts. It gives them an opportunity to reconnect with home back here in Canada and uh, um, we've seen pictures of these officers proudly wearing their shirts, standing beside some of the tools that they use in, uh, in the efforts to keep that country safe. But here's where the problem lies. According to the Canadian ambassador for Hero to Hero, those 400 t-shirts from York Regional Police didn't make it to Afghanistan. The director there advised me that the base commander had directed him not to ship any of the shirts for us. Kevin McHarg says the Ministry of Defence does not accept donations for soldiers from the public, even though in this case soldiers request the shirts. According to McHarg, the Chief of Defence Staff must first give signed permission for an organization to send anything to Afghanistan, something Hero to Hero is still trying to get. If they don't get permission, the program will be shut down. We're just sorry that you know, the walls were thrown up in front of us and we're trying to knock them down as best we can, and hopefully we will. And when they do, the soldiers representing our country will get the taste of home they're missing. In Wichert, Stouffville, Roshni Murthy, First Local.